Welcome back, everyone. In this session, let us discuss about case-based reasoning. So case-based reasoning, in short, we can call it as CBR. This is a learning paradigm where generalizing beyond the examples is postponed until a new instance must be classified, similar to KNN, where we store all the running examples until the new instance to be classified is encountered. Okay, the same way we follow here also, but the way we represent and all is different. Okay, so here they classify new instances by analyzing the similar ones in memory and ignore the different ones. In CBR, instances are represented using symbolic descriptions and methods. Okay, so these methods are used to retrieve similar instances and are also to elaborate. So the various applications under CDR are, the first one is conceptual design of mechanical devices. Okay, so here these are based on the stored library of previous designs. All previously designed collection is stored in a library. So from there, a new design can be done with the help of this conceptual design of mechanical devices. The second application is reasoning about new query instances. Okay, so whenever a new query is asked, so it will analyze the similar ones in the memory and based on that, the reasoning for the new instance can be given. The third application is solving planning and scheduling problems. So for this, we can reuse and combine portions of the previous solutions. Suppose if the entire solution is not matching, if some part is matching also. So from, the, from one solution, we can take one part and from the other solution, we can take other part and finally we can combine all those. Okay, so these are the applications. So let us discuss one example. That is the cadet system, which is a prototypic a prototypical example. Okay, this is just a prototype. It's not a final design. It is just a prototype. Okay, so here the cadet system employs CBR case based reasoning to assist in the conceptual design of mechanical devices. So this is the first application we are talking about. So here, what is the application we are talking about is the design of water faucets. Here you can see the example. So here we already have a stored case, which is a T-junction pipe. So you can see the structure of it and the function, associate, a function to describe this structure. So this is the structure. So here you can see Q1 is the water flow, T1 is the temperature. Okay, so Q1, T1, Q2, T2 are given as inputs. And based on that, an output Q3, P3 is provided. So here you can see the description of it, Q1 and Q2. So these are the water flows. Okay, so whenever you can see the plus symbol on the arrows, okay, that indicates whenever the water level Q1, Q2 is increasing, Q3 will also increase. Similarly, T1 and T2. So here you can observe a plus sign which indicates whenever T1 and T2 are increasing, T3 will also increase. Suppose if you have a minus sign on this, okay, so the corresponding output also will be reduced, okay. So whenever you see a plus, that means Q3 will increase with the increase in Q1. If you see a minus, Q3 will decrease with a decrease in Q1. Okay, so this is one stored example. So now let us see how to apply this for a new situation whenever it is asked. So here you can see the function is represented in terms of qualitative relationship among the water flow and the temperature. So these are given as inputs and outputs. Okay, plus is indicating the increase and minus decrease as we discussed. So now this CADIT system, it contains a library which has 75 previous designs. And here each instance stored in memory is represented by describing both its structure and it, its qualitative function. For all these 75, here we are, we are seeing only one example. Like this, totally 75 
examples are already stored. 75 designs are stored. For each one, we have a structure as well as the associated function. So now, whenever some new design problem is presented, so then how to solve this? So that is by specifying how they represent this new design problem is by specifying the desired function. Okay, so they know what should be done for every design. Whenever some requirement has come, we definitely know what has to be done, what should be the outcome, but we doesn't know how to obtain that, what should be the structure or what should be the design or what should be the prototype for that. Okay, so now from the problem, so the, this is a backward propagation we are doing. So here we know the solution, means we know the expectation of the customer. So for that, what should be the structure? So that is the question posed. So for that, the function is designed and it will request for the corresponding structure okay. as shown in this figure. So here you can see a, what new, a new water faucet problem is given. So here the function is given. So for this function, what should be the structure? Okay, so this, this sort of new problems will be given. So now from the cadet system, a solution should be provided for this. So now, here, if you observe this water faucet problem, here we have QC and QH, which are flow of cold water and hot water, C for cold water and H for hot water. Similarly, TC is the temperature of cold water, TH is the temperature of hot water. QM is the mixed flow. Mixed flow of this cold plus hot water. Whereas TM is also the mixed water temperature. So, okay, here it is taking cold water temperature as well as hot water temperature and flow of the cold water and flow of the hot water. All the four parameters it is taking into consideration and mixed water temperature is given. And we have two control signals also, CT and CF. CT is the control signal for temperature and CF is the control signal for water flow. So these two are controlling QC and QH. Indirectly, they are affecting QM and TM. So for this, the structure has to be provided. So now if you observe how to solve this, so that can be done in four phases. The first phase is retrieve and reuse. So from the cadet system, from all the 75, Okay, so first of all, we have to retrieve, is there any model which is matching with this? And use, use that. Okay, already some stored model is there so that we, are, we can reuse. So in this process, the cadet system, it searches for, searches the library for the stored cases. So then if an exact match is found, then return that case as a solution. Otherwise, search for a subgraph isomorphism. Okay, so is there any particular part matching with this particular one? So, for example, if you observe only this particular part, okay, CT to QC and CF to QC. Okay, so this we can compare with the previous functional description. One second, I'll just show the previous slide. So, Q1 and Q2, both are resulting in Q3. Similarly, T1 and T2 are resulting in T3. So, if you compare this with this particular description, okay, so they are matching here. Okay, a particular part. So, like this, it will be checked for subgraph isomorphism. Are any part of the graph, is it matching with the existing prototype? So, in this particular process, the system might elaborate also. In some cases, the original function specification can might be elaborated also. For example, if there is a relation A tends to B. So, here you can see CT is indirectly affecting QM, right? So, in between what we have, we have QC which is operating this 
or indirectly affecting QM. So, this can be written as A tends to X, X tends to B. So, this is read as B must increase with A in order to increase like that. It is sufficient to find some quantity X such that B increases with X and X is increasing with A. So, that means here if we elaborate, CT implies to QM. Let us take the relation as CT implies to QM. So, then what should be done? QM is dependent on QC. Again, QC is dependent on CT. So, that means in order to increase QM, QC has to be increased and this QC will increase based on CT. The next one is merging. So, now only one particular part I have found. So, the second case if you observe here TM is dependent on QC which is a negative value. It is also dependent on QH which is positive, TC and TH. So, now I have four inputs. Okay. So, the previous T, K, T junction case it is having only two inputs. So, now I have altogether four inputs which are affecting this TM and in turn this QC is dependent on CT and CF, QH is dependent on CF. So, for this another model should be searched where if there is already an existing model which will be map, which will be matching with this particular case that means the subgraph isomorphism if it is matching. So, then that should be retrieved and then these two should be combined. So, that is what meant by merging or performing a revision. So, while merging like this, sometimes design from the first principles must be done. Sometimes there is no matching case. In that case, what should be done? Again, it has to be done from the first principles. That means you are newly re rewriting everything. Or sometimes you might find some parts as matching. Okay. So, here in this case, if I see this TC and TH, these are matching with the first case. But when I found this QC and QH which are dependent on CT and CF, it is not matching. So, what I have to do, I have to back propagate. So, for whatever structure I have designed, so that again I have to back propagate and do it again. Okay. So, this is done using knowledge based reasoning. In KNN, how we have we are taking the nearest neighbors, K nearest neighbors, how we are taking in the same way. So here we will be using a knowledge-based reasoning. Okay. From two, three models, we will be obtaining those knowledge, and based on that, we will be combining the solutions. So this is the third phase. And the fourth phase is retention or adoption. So now after combining this, okay, so how to combine and all. So, we the carrot system, it is only having a prototype, but it doesn't has any particular analysis system or algorithm to merge two, three models and whether to adopt that particular one. So, whatever is designed, whether to adopt that and add it to the existing library or not. So, that is dependent purely on the user. So, depending upon how far it is matching with the requirement based on that, the user has to store it in the library. Otherwise, he can sometimes after performing all this also, he might have to discard it. Okay. So, this is all about the cadet system. Hope you followed. If you like the content, please do like, share and also subscribe. If you have any queries, do post in the comment section. Thank you.